Hello YouTubers, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq channel. In my previous videos, I already showed you a couple examples to DD Windows operating system into Oracle Cloud free tier. I have done Windows 2016, Windows 7. There are some questions about the steps, such as how to build a VNC console connection. So that also has a video created before to explain. You can search from my videos to find out the related video, or you can check the video description to find out the related video. So there's some requests coming to asking for a video to show the steps from the beginning to the end. Since some of my videos, I'm assuming the audience has watched my previous video to see how to create the VNC console, how to create VM instance, how to generate your SSH key, those steps. So in this video, I'm gonna use in 2012 as an example and uh, also creating the instance, generate the SSH key step by step, and I will not add into VNC console since it's an optional step for the DD Windows system to the Linux machine. So let's start it. The steps are pretty simple. You need to have Oracle Cloud account. If you don't have, you can get one. Um, I have a video for that. You can find it from video description, how to get your free Oracle Cloud account. Create the Ubuntu VM, the first step. Then second step, you need to generate your private key and use party to log into Ubuntu VM. I'm going to use in party gem to generate the key and the party to log in. Then third step, just one command, dd your Windows 2012 into Ubuntu. So command will be in the video description and also will be in my blog post. Check it out from the video description below. The last step is just RDP into Windows 2012 machine. You have to wait 30 minutes for step three to complete it. Um, and after that, you can RDP in without problem. Of course, you need to open 3389 at port in your network security group. I will demonstrate how to do that step as well. So I will add one more 3389 port and RDP into Windows 2012 machine. So those four steps, then you should be able to have working to Windows 2012 machine in the Oracle Cloud. Create instance. It's a free tier. Um, you have to change the image. Yeah, we are going to still keep using this one core OCPU, one gigabyte memory virtual machine. Here is an uh, important part. We need to generate the key pair, so we're going to save our private key. And uh, now we can create. While we are waiting, so we need to convert this private key to the proper format so our party can use it. So we have party, party gen, those two software downloaded from the internet. You can Google it. If you don't know how, uh, just Google Party, Party Gen, and you can find the download link. The private key from Oracle Cloud is not proper format accepted by Party. So we have to use Party Gen to generate or convert one to use. So as you can see, we successfully imported the foreign key. To use this key with party, you need to use the save private key command to save it in party's own format. In that way, we can save the key. Just say Oracle private key. And you can close it. 
So Oracle private key has been saved on my desktop. Now we can start to use our putty to log into it. We need to know the public IP address. So at this moment, the VM is still provisioning. Now it's ready, it's running. So we can copy this public IP address we got from Oracle Cloud and put in here. You also can save this session for future to use. And you need to go to connection SSH authentication tab to load this private key. Don't forget to save it again. Open. So now there's a security warning. That's fine. So we're going to log on it. The log username, since we are using Ubuntu, the log username is Ubuntu. Simple and easy. So now we are logged in. You may want to do some up APT update um, since we are not stool mode. So we're going to get in there and APT update. So it's going to take a couple minutes or even less to get it done to get the software package list updated. After that, we can start to do DD. That's the command. What we need to do is just need to paste this in and enter. So right now they are downloading the image file. After downloading, they're going to put it into the hard drive of this Linux Ubuntu OS system drive. It will take one or two minutes, then they're going to start in to do DD in. That will take 30 minutes. You will see your connection will be dropped from there. So we will wait the video until to that part. Since I don't have VNC session open, which is optional, as I said before, you will not see the DD process, the Windows booting process, those steps. But in 30 minutes, you should have a working Windows 2012 in the Oracle Cloud free tier machine. So you can see the party session has been closed. So basically the system has been rebooted once and then they're gonna start in uh, installing a Windows 2012 and configure for the basic settings to let us log in. So we are gonna wait 30 minutes, but before we pause the video, I wanna show you one extra step, which is our step four, open a 3389 port. As you can see, network security groups right now, it's none. I do have my own common port open security group, but I will not use that. I'm going to create a new security group that assign here. So let's cancel this. So from attached VNIX, we can go to subnet. From subnet, we can go to virtual cloud networks. And then we can go to network security groups. So I already have one, so but basically you just need to create a one. Allow 3389. Next. Ingress. So you just need to create um, 3389 port to allow RDP in. So which is TCP, you can find out the uh, Uh, the source range will be all the destination part of the 3389. And that's it, create one. That's the only thing we will need it for login to Windows 2012 machine.
we cannot go back to our instance, assign this new network security group to this virtual machine. Save changes. That's all steps you need to done. The last steps we're gonna do RTP. We need to wait about 20 minutes from now. So I will come back and continue in 20 minutes. So I'm ready to log into my Windows 2012 machine. Um, this is different machine from my previous recording since the previous recording was using a wrong Windows 2012 image file. The d.nat.ee side is down. So I have to change the image file to redo the process. The process is exactly the same. Just one command, wait 30 minutes, then RDP, then you be able to log in. I already put the command into the video description and my blog post. Check it out. The username and password is the same, it's coming from the same person. Username administrator, password, NAT.ee. So we're gonna log in. The first time login may take a couple minutes. So as you can see, this is um, Chinese version, not English version. So first time login, there's some configuration will happening in background. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer than usual. But we will get there. Perfect. So we are logged in right now, as you can see. In this is a Chinese version or Chinese. Um, I couldn't find out the original NAT.ee's English version, but I'm just using this Chinese version to show you the process here.
So as you can see, we have one gig RAM. If you look at the task manager, So it works once you logged in, just run this tool to change the RDP port, change the user password, and then reboot the machine. That's all for this video. Hope you like it. If you found anything interesting in this video, please give me a thumb up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in my next episode. Thank you.